Hey folks, this is Abdul from allaboutandroids.com and today I'll be rooting and unlocking my Nexus 7. Now the method that I'm using is mskips method. There's a lot of methods out there but I believe this is the easiest one to use. So just go to his website on XDA and download the toolkit from here. And once you've downloaded it, install it like any Windows program and it'll show up wherever you yeah, installed it. I put it on the desktop. Just double click it and start the toolkit. And it's going to ask, do you want to check for update? Just do yes. All right, so that's done. Now, what we have to do is enable USB debugging. So we have to go back to our tablet and just go into settings, develop options, turn on developer options, and turn on USB debugging. And you'll see a little jelly bean sign there saying USB debugging is on. And what we need to do is install the drivers now. So just press 1, install, uninstall Google Nexus 7 drivers on your PC. Press enter, just choose whichever one you have and go through the steps there. I've already installed them. Once you have, uh, you should just check over here, ADB mode, and you'll see a serial number and device. If you see the serial number, that means drivers are installed. Now, what we're going to do is unlock the bootloader, root your device, flash, custom recovery, all of these things. Uh, so all we have to do is go to number eight, which says one click for all. Very easy to use. Just put in the number eight, press enter, and it, it asks, asks you, is your device in bootloader mode? Right now, it's not. It's just here. So we're gonna press, we're gonna type in no and then press enter. So it's going into fast boot. And as you can see, right now we're in fast boot mode. And it should start the magic. Do you want to unlock your bootloader? Just press the power button here, yes, and voila. It starts to by by the way, before you know you continue, this will erase everything on your tablet. Full everything. So it's just going through the steps right here. It's going to be setting up root now. It's going to boot up into a completely clean, without any user data, Nexus 7 ROM, and it's going to install boot. Uh, it's going to install root. You'll notice that unlock right there. That means your bootloader is unlocked. Just waiting here. As you can see, it has booted up. So now I'm just going to connect to Wi-Fi. Don't look here. Okay. Now I'm not going to sign in. What I have to do is enable USB debugging again. Since this is a clean ROM, has no user data whatsoever. Just like out of the box, we have to go back into settings, developer options, turn on developer options and turn on USB debugging again. And now this program will take over and start it wor its work again. back into fast boot okay so it's put a insecure boot image now it booted back into android and what it's doing is flashing super user and busybox lots of files
and now you should have a rooted unlocked just let it do its thing yeah. now it's actually installing a clockworks mod touch recovery and it's booting up for the final time now you have a unlocked bootloader custom recovery and root permissions for uh, your apps now it has finally booted up you have the, so we can see the super user application right there which means we have root access on the device and yeah that's about it this was Abdul from allaboutandroids.com please like comment and subscribe would really appreciate it and also add us on Google Plus Twitter and Facebook thanks again guys